check. Check. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear us now? Okay. We are ready. We're ready. Okay, so what is the question? Mrs. Osborne, seventh grade biology. Miss Johnson, she was a science teacher in DeLong. Miss Graff was a English teacher at North. My favorite teacher was my fourth grade teacher. Her name was Miss Capey. Mr. Mead had him for fourth and fifth grade. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this memory is going to way back. That would have to be my first grade teacher, Mrs. Northrup. Third grade teacher, Mrs. Goss, now Mrs. Bowen. She made uh, school fun. Uh, and then in uh, middle school to early high school, uh, Mr. Madlin. Um, we didn't always get along, but the guy challenged me to learn and uh, really pushed. Um, and then in my junior and senior year when I finished out at a different school, uh, Mr. Jenkins uh, made school fun, made understanding and again challenged me to, to kind of push the envelope and uh, really thankful for that. So thank you to all of them. My favorite teacher was Mr. O. He was the shop teacher mm -hmm. in high school. He was a wrestling coach, shop teacher, and he basically let you do whatever you wanted, mm -hmm. which was awesome. And I was a student aide in a couple of his classes, and that was pretty neat. He's gone, Matt, you're safe. One of my favorite teachers was Mr. Pepper. He was very knowledgeable and taught advanced math calculating techniques. He was very stern as a teacher, but uh, very positive if you did things right and would reward you appropriately. My third and fourth grade teacher, Mr. Wetland from Roosevelt Elementary. Mary Jo Ogren. She actually took the time out to listen to what we were going through as kids in our um, area and really pushed to help us and uh, get the best out of us. And she was just awesome. Man. I don't know where I'd be without Mary Jo Ogren. <laughs> Hi! Uh, one of my favorite teachers, uh, now since retired, went to uh, Eau Claire Memorial, taught the uh, print shop class. His name was Dennis Updahl. Everybody called him Doc because he wore a white smock. Uh, he was a really cool guy. He definitely knew uh, his topics. He knew printing industry in and out. And it uh, was kind of cool. Even uh, 10 years after I left, I went back and visited Doc. He remembered me. And uh, he was about to retire and said that uh, he was taking all the kids that he had taught, all of their memorabilia and everything that they've made for the shop, and he was taking it home with them. So I thought that was pretty cool. Calixto Salazar. And he was the chemistry. I got to say, first of all, my dad, for the main reason, he taught me how to work hard and always follow through and finish what you start. And the second one is my mom. She just taught me how to always be respectful to people and always put your family above yourself. Mr. Hartung, my math teacher, he converted into a woodshop teacher my senior year in high school. Um, he's busy, Hi. but can there, can I help you? Uh, what break? No, no, I'm sure I can help you. My favorite teacher by far was Sister Gloria. I went to a Catholic elementary school for three years and she taught me in the first and second year. Yes, Adam, he's pretty cool. <laughs> do all kind of this kind of tests. It's, yeah. It's amazing. It sounds fun. And one of my favorite teachers was Mrs. Poland, um, one of my uh, sixth grade teachers. Uh, taught me everything for th sixth grade and then math for middle school. Coach Van Gordon, uh, he was my football coach, sophomore, junior, senior year. Also my FIAD teacher, so you know, senior liked to FIAD. He would get out there and play some hoops with us. Also very inspiring man, great guy. My fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Anderson. She was always very willing to help, even outside of the classroom. She always pushed me to do my best. Great classroom. Yeah? Great did classes. you learn a lot? Oh, yes. You did? Oh, yeah. Well, that's pretty neat. Yes. I would say my favorite teacher would be my fifth grade teacher. He was really nice, cared about our class. He'd go out and give us extra recess time and be able to play kickball and soccer and football and everything. Tina says that you have to go over there. She needs your help right now. She said yeah. emergency status. What was the name of that class? Uh, analysis clinicos. So, was that in college? No, high he was in high school. I had a lot of great teachers, but Gordon Gee, uh, my sixth grade teacher, he was extraordinary. Just 
had fun with the kids. We had a terrarium in the classroom uh, with turtles. In fact, in the summer, I'd go out and catch these small little painted turtles with him, and uh, he was a fun teacher. You had clinical yes, wait. analysis. I in was in the, medic in, the, in the medical field. Always my dream was be a, a doctor. There you go. Mr. Silloway, he was my fourth grade Parkview Elementary teacher. About two weeks into me having him, he was diagnosed with cancer. And the reason I loved him, he was he was so energetic, so passionate. It didn't matter what what was going on. He still, whenever he could, he made it to class. He made the biggest impact on me as a teacher because whatever I do, I do it with passion and I do it hard. And I'm going to put the time and effort into it. And I think that's the greatest lesson I've ever learned and I only had him for two weeks. He had such passion and drive and cared for you and took the individual time to make you feel like you weren't just a student. You were, you know, you were one of his students. What's that? You need to go now. All right, I, uh, I told him. I told him that he has to come over there right now. All right, bye. Better get over there. There was a gentleman by the name of Bruce Shattuck who was uh, the math teacher, did advanced algebra in high school. He was also my basketball coach uh, for four years, and uh, he was fantastic. Probably uh, Mr. Newsbomb. He was my football and wrestling coach, and uh, let me go home and take naps during study hall. My favorite teacher was Mr. Swenson. He was my drafting teacher, and he was very lax and laid back. So for that, he's my favorite teacher. Those are our favorite teachers. <laughs> We're all down here. Adios, amigos.